All right, my fellow Americans, I believe it's time that we start foaming out this camper. So this is a hybrid. It's part land, part water, part foamy, part traditional. So uh, let's go ahead and start putting this foam on here. This is gonna be the Home Depot, or actually Lowe's uh, foam because it's gonna be PMF'd, but I'm not depending on the structure of the foam to hold its integrity because I actually built the frame out on this, which adds weight, takes away from it being a traditional foamy, but uh, I am able to use thinner foam. I don't have to use the two inch foam for that extra structural uh, stability. I'm using the one inch foam, but there will be two inches of foam because I'm using one inch foam on the outside sheeting and then one inch foam between the frame. So let's go ahead and do that. And I've taken off about a hundred pounds of unnecessary weight on this camper. And we'll get ready to start foaming it out, PMFing it, and fiberglassing it. I'm gonna use this little, little scrap strip of wood. I'm gonna drill a bunch of holes down it. And I'm gonna cut it off so I have little blocks to use as a, well, essentially a poor man's clamp. That way I can drill through this through the foam and uh, press it tight against the framework of the camper to hold it there until it dries because what I am using is great stuff, expandable foam because from all the reviews that I looked up, that stuff glues foam together the best. But the thing is, is, is it is by definition expandable foam. So it will create gaps or spread that foam off of that framework if I don't have it clutched tightly to it. So I'm just gonna make some uh, little wood washers here to screw into it. All right, so I made myself a stack of ghetto washers. Time to move on. Here's my first four by eight sheet, one inch thick of the foam lows. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna peel this plastic off of both sides. We need that gone so that we can adhere to it. So I'm gonna peel that off and we're gonna apply that. Yeah, to that, oh yeah. This here is great stuff. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, gotta get it nice and shook up. Now let's get busy. Up. I'm a hairy guy. Let's see. Okay. Whatever. In my mind, that can went a lot further. Get a washer one down. Get a washer two down. Now let's start putting them all through this. All right, spread washers out. Let's put some marks on there, shall we? Got that uh, first one inch four by eight sheet of foam up. And we'll let that set overnight. You know, I'll come in and uh, cut out my door, window, pass through, and then start putting on more. Trim it out. 
Yeah, yeah. That's where we at. That's what it's looking like. So using those little ghetto spacers that I made or pressure plates that I made uh, works great for holding this to keep it from pushing out from that expandable foam. But of course I got these little light indentions everywhere that I uh, had placed the block. So I've got some ideas on making sure that's smoothened out when we get to that point. So uh, it uh, the most important thing is it did keep that foam up against the framework and not pushing out as it expanded so overall good idea I'm sure there's much better ideas but that worked out fine All right, here's this drywall knife real thin blade real fine teeth so I'm hoping this will work really good uh, cutting this foam and not chewing it up too much so we're gonna give this a shot we're gonna start off cutting that departure angle down there and see uh, how well this works uh, before we move to some of the more critical areas Okay, that's not too bad after some sanding on that some light sanding on that I think that will that blade will work out all right I might try a couple different other things but for now I think that's gonna work uh, decently all right you got the first cuts down on this side I think this is gonna work out pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, this thing's gonna be fishing, boating, and camping here real soon. Putting the other side on using the same principle. And after that cures, we'll trim that all down and keep her moving. Got my seam put in together, no glue or nothing underneath there yet, but just trying to finish shaping off the front of this and moving to the top of this camper. So most important seam was this one right here above where the front windshield is gonna be. So got that secure, and then we will glue from the back front, leaving this unglued and secured. And then when all that cures, I'll release these plates glue underneath there and put them back down put the plates back on it to hold that um, until it dries it cures yep all right all right just sprayed the foam spanning foam up here now I'm gonna go ahead and stretch this down around it with some ratchet straps and then spread out the foam on the rest of it let's do it all right so now I've got the first section of this top piece rounded off Braced off with some ratchet straps, uh, glued down with the uh, great stuff, expansion foam, and we'll let that settle. Of course, I've also got my pressure spacers screwed in there, long sides, long top. Looking pretty good, man. Think it's gonna be all right, yeah. So I cut me a couple notches in the foam, <clears throat> excuse me, in this door frame because that's where my hinges are going to set. So I'm going to recess some wood in there. So I have some straight solid wood to screw to on those hinges, on those spots. So uh, I already cut the two blocks out, a couple little blocks of wood. I'm going to glue in there and give me a solid uh, anchor point for screwing in the door hinges. So I've glued those in. I will let those dry, cure out, and then these inch and a half foam, so I'll add another half inch of wood, same as these, but half inch to get it flush, glued in there, glued in there, 
and then I will be able to use that as my anchor points for all my hinges on my door to keep the door flush with the outside of this camper. doing here is I'm using this drywall planer go around the whole rim of this and get it all flushed all the way around the whole camper and then uh, I will go back over it after I get it flushed out with this because this isn't gonna get it real smooth but it'll get a flush then I'll go around it with sandpaper to make it all smooth before I get to doing any PMF in or fiberglass or anything like that around it so I've got nice clean edges all right, so it's starting to get dark. So I'm getting ready to do now is I'm going to PMF out this side of the camper. Uh, I already got my uh, wood strung in there where I need it to be to be able to mount the uh, mounts for the external kitchen table. I'm going to take this canvas, type on two, and I'm going to wrap this side of the camper. So it's getting ready to get dark, so let me get on that and I'll click back with you in a moment. So what we've done here is we uh, got started on the top, spread tight bond two down first, and then pulled the canvas over it. Um, all this is still loose. I only went back about four inches and I'll do the same thing on the other side, overlap it by about four inches. Um, that way, whenever I do my top piece, I'll bring the top piece all the way uh, from edge to edge. And I've got a four inch overlap um, to make sure it's completely waterproof. Um, and then I came down about eight inches down the side and spread all that down the side of the camper. <clears throat> so dark. I don't know what you can see here. So anyway, I'm going to let that uh, start drying and then I can start really working the material. But that's, uh, this is how it goes. This is how it goes for me anyway. And of course, all this wrinkle spot, that's just sitting there because I don't want to glue anything down on this side yet until after that all dries. That way I can pull the canvas tight across the top so I can get a straight cut. Okay, so we've got this side uh, PMF'd. Uh, well, most of it anyway. Notice the, the um, material goes down the canvas and around the pontoons as well. So I've glued, the, glued it, spread it, glued on top of it. I'm all the way around to get it going and uh, still not finished obviously but we're gonna let that uh, cure up now I'm starting on the second side over here so what I did is I put some anchor points in up there after I got the canvas set where I wanted it to be and just let it drape and I'll work from the top to bottom with the glue and I overlapped the four and a half inches on uh, either side so let me show you So I just overlapped it, threw a screw in there, like that, it's four and a half on that side. So when I get this all glued down, um, I'll spread this all out, and then I'll do my final canvas that'll go all the way across the whole top, all the way edge to edge, which will have four and a half inches underlap on each side, make sure nothing can get through water-wise, and uh, keep it going. So this is, uh, this is where we're at right now. Now I'm getting the front of this set up. I just got some thumbtacks in there holding that canvas up where I want to start because I'm going to be stretching that canvas around the nose of that down to the base of that bottom of that boat. So there's no separation between the boat and the top of it. So that canvas will go all the way down here, wrap around, and then whenever I PMF the whole thing, that'll come and overlap that canvas. So 
Getting ready to work on that. Uh, PMF. This is uh, getting that uh, composite material on it, and then I'll fiberglass over it. Uh, yeah. yeah, the other side's already, well, it ain't done, but it's close to done. You can, you can get an understanding of what it is. To, uh, turn the, uh, basically, I'll make a sandwich composite between the foam and a uh, canvas material, which creates a complete waterproof barrier. Then do my fiberglass in around that and shape everything I want exactly how it needs to be. It'll be badass. All right, brother. I'll be right here. Most likely. Now that we've got the PMF ran all the way around this, we're going to finish letting this dry. <clears throat> and then we are going to use, now I've got to trim that out after it dries. I'll trim those windows and that frame out. But uh, <clears throat> so I'll be in P been PMF'd around it. When that dries and cures, I will be taking a latex exterior paint and uh, putting a coat of that paint on top of that. Today I decided I'm gonna start working on this rear hatch. Uh, so I've got it cut to size and getting ready to start trick licking, tricking it out. Working on right now is uh, making the trim out for this hatch. Working on this first side first. We'll get this uh, all glued and then uh, screwed down it and that will open up with the hatch and that's the overlip that goes down and closes around the side of the camper um, this what I'm working on right here is going to be uh, angled cut angled and smoothened out and fiberglassed into the camper itself um, which will be the setup for whenever you uh, park to camp where you'll be putting that part of the kitchen countertop up at so Coming, coming along slowly but surely. And then of course, this hole here is gonna have its own separate hatch that opens up from the inside because that's where you're going to be able to put the motor in to drive the boat, to drive it as a boat with the hatch still closed. That way you can drive it with the hatch open or the hatch closed. So what I have going on here, is I'm getting ready to turn this entire rear hatch into a custom American flag. I've got everything marked up where it needs to be, but it's not going to be painted on there. It's going to be three-dimensional like I've already made the plate. This will be for the stars, this plate, and then it'll be one by threes that run out the stripes. I'll burn it all with a torch, paint it, burn it with a torch, and then uh, epoxy it. It'll be pretty badass. Now, it's going to make that hatch a little bit heavy but that's okay because i'll be putting gas shocks on that hatch so anyway let's uh do what we do make sure that we remember where we're from as we're doing the things that we do america baby what i'm doing now is the mock-up that's uh gonna be the panel the stars are gonna be on and then you know the 13 stripes on the side the stars in the middle make america great again baby
you all for being a part of this project with me and uh, joining me on this adventure. I've got a lot of uh, cool little concepts and ideas, things I'm going to be building here uh, real quick to to uh, mix up the content aside of just the camper because that's going to take a while. I'm almost caught up to the footage that I have as far as where I am on the build right now. I think I've got enough for another episode after this and then I'll be caught up to my current position on that build. So uh, the videos on that will slow down a little bit. So I want to throw in some other cool little builds in between uh, in between now and, and finishing that camper um, to keep the content going. I've got some really cool ideas and concepts. But uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and um, share. Uh, I really appreciate y'all being here. And thank you very much. We will see you soon. I'm Sax, and I'm out of here. Thank you.